Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to create some faux cyanotypes. I saw a lot of cyanotype photography in Santa Fe when I went this year, and you know I love it because it's blue. And so I thought I would try to achieve that look on just a little note card set today. And here are some of the supplies that I used I have removable label paper from Avery. The Layering Squares Framelit Set from Stampin' Up! This is new. Sitting Here, Traveler, as well as The Wilderness Awaits. Now I cut pieces of the label paper, found the center and drew lines, and then used those lines to cut a square out of the middle. So there's a little square centered on each card front. And I'm using my beloved, beloved blueprint sketch distress ink. This is the perfect color for a faux cyanotype look. And I have one of the Clarity Stamp stencil brushes. So to begin with, I will just ink up the stencil brush with a side to side motion on the ink pad. And I like to brush a little ink off on my mat to start out with, just to soften up the initial application of ink. And I will just ink up each of these squares the same way. I do like to go one direction and then rotate the cardstock 90 degrees and cover it that way. And it seems to give just a little bit more even coverage that way. These come together really, really quickly. And, and I wanted to have just a light coating of the blue all over the background before I stamp. So you'll want to make several passes with the brush just to make sure it's even and it's to the darkness that you like it. So those are all finished. And I love how evenly these brushes lay down ink. And I'm going to take each one of these cards, leaving the masking paper in place, and set them up on my mini Misty. And I'm trying to find the correct horizontal on this image, so I don't want I don't want the little train just careening off at a weird angle, making it look like there's an accident of some sort happening. And then since I'm using cling stamps, I'm going to take out the foam set the card back in the base, and then with the same blueprint sketch ink, just ink up the image. This is a very detailed image, and I thought it would give that fun photographic quality. Since it's inspired by a cyanotype, I thought sort of a realistic image would be fun for starters. And you can see I have a little halo around the edge where the stamp isn't getting quite past that label paper. So I'm going to try again and give it a little extra pressure, get a little darker image and some more ink by the edge. But then I'm just going to come back with the stencil brush and darken up that area so that you don't notice that halo at all and you don't have to worry about it or feel like that was a failure. You're going to see when you see the finished result that it looks great. So I'll go around some of the edges. I just love this monochrome look in blue. It's so beautiful in those photographs. If you have a photography gallery near you, that has any old cyanotypes, you should go check them out. I could just look at them for hours. I think they are so fascinating. Now I still have a little bit of ink left on the stamp. So I'm going to see if I can just push that off towards the edge. I can get a little bit of it off and then we'll be done. That one looks good. So I will move on to the next one. I'm going to use 
my stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn to clean this off. I do just get it wet. I don't put anything special on my chamois. Water works for cleaning pretty much every kind of ink off. Now I've set up these ships from Traveler. Again, a very photorealistic image and so good for this technique. And I apologize, a cloud came over and darkened my workspace up a little bit in the middle of this. But I'm going to touch up the edges the way that I did with the train image. And now I'm using this hunting dog image a little less detailed. It's, there's a lot more white space in this image, but it is also a pretty realistic image, and I thought it would be fun. I always like to have an animal card or two on hand. And finally, the little kitty from sitting here. This one's photopolymer, so I have to put my phone back in my Misty, and I just have this one positioned in the corner. And I went ahead and stamped that one twice. You get great results with Distress Ink when you're using the Misty. And now it's time for the reveal. There is nothing more fun than pulling masking paper off after you've done a masking technique, I don't think. And you'll see what looks like little tiny cyanotype scenes in the center of each one of these cards. And you could reuse these masks if you want to, if you're careful not to tear them like I just did. <laughs> you can definitely reuse them and make many, many card sets. I'm really trying to be better about making a few cards every time I sit down to do a technique. And I'm starting to finally get into that habit. I think the ship one looks so cool, really, really looks like an old photograph of a ship leaving port. And same with the train. Very, very fun look, fun technique, and I hope you will grab a blue ink pad and try this for yourself. Or, if you're not like me, you can grab your favorite color, if it's not blue, and give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching. You can see more videos on my channel and subscribe to be notified when I upload a new one. Thanks so much.